welcome to Simply Artisan. And today we're going to work on uh, healthy hair styling by way of natural hair styling and the basics of combing out natural hair. We have Stephanie here which has um, a wavy texture with some frizz in the middle. So we're deciding whether we're going to do natural styling or we're going to flat iron our hair. So that is determined, we make that determination so we know what products we're going to use on the hair as we go. So what we'll do is we'll start off, the best thing to do when it comes to natural hair, especially if it seems overwhelming, is just take it in increments. The size of the section should be big enough for your hand to handle. So I'm going to use a wide tooth comb. It's called a comb out, not a brush out. So we're going to comb out the hair with a wide tooth comb. You don't have to part the hair to section it because at the base there may be a lot of tangling due to the shampooing and the conditioning. So what you'll do is you'll section it with your fingers and gently pull it apart. I call this pre-combing. You pre-comb the hair with your fingers, especially if someone is tender-headed. So this will aid in getting most of the shedded hair that's trapped that causes much of the tangling and also um, needing to have a trim. So what we'll do is start from the root. If there are no tangles, you can move, you can pass straight through the hair. So I'd like to show you. Pass through the hair. Stephanie section small enough for my hand to handle. Okay? And Stephanie's hair is moderately combed through. So I will take the hair and I will twist it on itself. And the reason why I do that, well, let me backtrack. This is where I will add product. So we decided in our consultation that Stephanie wants to have her hair flat ironed. So I'm going to choose a product to help reduce humidity effects on the hair. I've chosen a quash today, straightening ultra gel. Just a small amount will be sufficient. And the thing is product usage is very important with natural hair styling, especially when it comes to flat ironing the hair. You don't want to use too much product so that your, your finished look will be airy and move and have body. So that's what we want today. So I use a little of this product and a little goes a long way. And I move it through the hair so that I don't have to, every time I section the hair, apply it. When it comes to flat ironing the hair, the hair has to have minimal product. But when it comes to twisting the hair, that's where more product would come in, oils, but you don't want, then you have to determine whether you're going to blow dry the hair when you twist it or if you're going to style it wet. So that's where the products come into play. So I've sectioned Stephanie's hair in a section big enough for my hand to handle and I twist the hair back on itself and I wrap it around its little base and I call that as it's called in the industry, a Bantu knot. Bantu knot used is so easy you can move through the hair quickly, especially if you're blow drying the hair. You, only, you will only need one hand to remove it. So I'm combing out the section of hair. Now, like I said before, Stephanie's, well, like I said, Stephanie's hair is mostly combed through. It's, her hair doesn't tangle very much. So, I combed it through, but if there is a lot of tangles and a lot of shedding and the hair is long or even if it's short, you start from the end and work your way up to the base, to the root. That way you comb out the hair thoroughly. So I'm going to move through Stephanie's hair 
in sections large enough for my hand to handle and I use a duckbill clip to section the hair and like I said you don't have to use the comb and get a straight part it doesn't matter it's just enough for your hand to handle if the hair is drying out make sure you wet it keep it saturated with water because the hair tends to comb out easier when it's wet but it is a more delicate part of time when the hair is wet the hair is more fragile so pre-combing is important and if your bantu knot won't stay in because the hair is too blunt in its cut you can use a little clip clip the hair and that way the hair stays combed out sectioning as I go moving quickly use my clip to section it out and comb through now if I were choosing to do a twist style on Stephanie I would determine whether it was going to be started based upon a dry look or a wet look if she wants the wet look then the hair is going to look shorter and the curl pattern will determine the finished look Stephanie's curl pattern will determine her finished look so if you have someone that has many different style many different texture or if you are someone with many different textures of hair then starting off with the blow dry may be a good idea for you that way the hair stays consistent and a consistent texture so then if you're going to blow dry and two strand twist the natural hair then that's when you can use your jojoba oils or oils mixed with infused with essential oils but I do not recommend mineral oil or anything with a petroleum base or anything heavy because if you're going to go in to blow dry the hair you want the hair you don't want to fry the hair you don't want to sear the hair so we're nearly finished and it's important to work through the comb out because a lot of times people shy away from going natural because of the, the, the thoughts of all the combs that were broken when they were little. But it doesn't have to be, especially if you pre-comb the hair and remove all the shedded hair. So we're nearly finished combing out Stephanie's hair. It was simple and pain-free. And it will get you ready for the next stage of what you want to do with the hair. It can be quick and easy, especially if you do it with the right implements and the right products, even at the shampoo bowl. So you can check out another one of my how-tos on proper product usage and shampooing the hair so that you can see exactly what products you should use to get the best results for the natural hairstyle you choose. Stephanie is complete.